What's well, good, Sneaker fam? Welcome back to Our Sneaker. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm still selling my shirts on my website. It is Our Sneaker shirt with my logo on it, and then it does have the three shoes on the side. It has a Yeezy V2 on the top, it has an Ultra Boost in the middle, and then it does have a Jordan 1 on the bottom. Each shirt is $20, and I am selling them on my website, which you can find down in the description below. Next up, I do want to say that I am doing an Air Jordan 1 raffle. Each raffle ticket is a dollar, and I am raffling off the Jordan 1 top threes. They are the size seven and a half. There's a total of 300 entries. And right now there's about 70 spots taken, so make sure you get them while they last. You can find a link of where to purchase those down in the description below as well. Anyways, moving on to today's video, we do basically have a face-off between the Go app and the StockX app. To start off, I do want to state things that both of them have. And I did make a list here, so I kind of will be reading off of them because I made this going on both of their websites and just comparing the two. So what both of them have, they're obviously both sneaker and selling apps. Uh, they're both 100% legit, and if they are fake, they will refund the fake orders. Like, So if the shoes are fake, they'll refund you the order, and they'll make the seller pay the shipping and handling to and back from Go or StockX. Next up on both of them, you could make an offer as a buyer, and then if the seller decides to accept the offer, then the shoe will sell for the seller, and the buyer will get that shoe. So to start off, on Go, you could cancel order, but it has to be within the first three hours of purchasing the shoe or before the seller confirms the order, whichever one comes first. Unfortunately, on StockX, you can't cancel order at all. As far as returns go, GOAT does accept returns within the first three days of receiving the shoes for whatever reason, as long as they're unworn and they are in the same condition you receive them. But StockX only accepts returns if something is wrong with your order. And the shipping cost is all on the customer. Up next, comparing the shipping cost, GOAT does charge you $10 for the 48 contiguous states. $15 for Hawaii and Alaska, $35 for Canada, and $50 everywhere else. Therefore, GOAT does sell all over the world. As far as shipping goes on StockX, the shipping does vary on the location of the buyer. StockX is based in Detroit, so I'm guessing the closer it is to there, the cheaper your shipping will be. If you're located in Canada, your shipping cost will cost you $30, but if you're located anywhere else, your shipping cost will cost you $40, as well as a 2% fee for being international. Moving on to the selling commission fee, as far as GOAT goes, they do charge you 9.5%, plus five dollars if your account is in good standing. If you're in okay standing, it is 15% plus five dollars. And if you're in a bad standing, it's 20% plus five dollars. So, but if you wanna stay in that 9.5% range, then you just gotta keep selling and being a good seller and not to cancel your orders. Cause if you cancel orders, that's how your seller points go down and that's how you get a worse commission fee. Stock X commission fees works a little bit differently. So to start off, they have four levels, it's level one, two, three, and four. And the first one is 9.5% plus 3% because of the transaction. So 9% is a commission and 3% is a transaction fee. But if you come a level two, then your commission fee is 9% plus a 3% transaction fee. But in order to get to level two, you have to have at least $500 sold from your account, which is approximately three sales. To have an 8.5 commission fee plus the 3% transaction fee, you must be a level three. And in order to be there, you must have at least $4,000 sold, which is approximately 30 sales. And the last one, which is level four, which is where you get 8% commission fee plus a 3% transaction fee, you must sell at least $10,000, which is approximately 100 sales. In regards to contacting each of the companies, go, you can contact them through email and phone, and you can find that on their website, but StockX, you can only email them. And from my opinion, go just seems like a place just to sell shoes and buy shoes. But as far as StockX goes, it is a stock market for shoes, which is really helpful for people, especially like resellers, or even for buyers so they can see how much the shoes are going for so they don't end up paying too much somewhere else. For me, I personally see Go as a better place to sell shoes because the shoes do sell for more there from what I've seen and you could make more money from there. But as far as buying shoes, I would go to StockX because most of the shoes there do come out cheaper so you do save some money there. If someone were to ask me which one I prefer, Go or StockX, like I said, for selling, I will go to Go. For buying I will go to stock X but in the end I don't just stick with one of them like I would use both but I feel like Go's been around longer so they do have more shoes and more people using that than they do on stock X if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 10,000 by February 11th which is sneaker con for Lauderdale and if you guys feel like I missed anything in this video make sure you leave a comment down below and I will reply to you guys there make sure you stay well our sneaker side now peace